is GC. He's a hammock designer. He made this hammock especially for children. It's called Moki. Today we're gonna show you how to install this hammock in a dangerous jungle. Uh, in a children's room. This hammock comes along with everything you need. Let's unpack it. This is the hammock. These are the two hooks that are used to adjust the height. They are easy to remove in case chocolate stains or dragon slime have to be washed off. In addition, there are two ropes and two other hooks for the walls with screws and dowels. We also need a drill with an 8 mm drill bit, a pen, the template from the manual, a vacuum cleaner, a screwdriver or rechargeable drill. Now we need to decide where in the room to attach the hammock. This would be the normal installation, but it's also possible to hang it diagonally. This is the smart installation to save space. It also works under a loft bed. Wall to ceiling is also feasible. Or if you have a lot of space, ceiling to ceiling. Of course, we go for the smart version now. Wall to wall across the corner. Now you need to pay close attention. First, we need to attach these two hooks to the walls. If we know approximately where we want the hammock to hang, we can also determine the position of the wall hooks. There is a rule for this. The distance from the center of the hammock to the wall should be approximately the same as the distance from the floor to the wall hook. If you want the hammock to hang in the middle of the room, the hooks are placed at the same height. For example, at a distance of 2 times 2 meters, we fix both hooks at a height of 2 meters. But if, as in our case, an elephant or a children's bed is in the way, you can also attach the hammer closer to one wall. To do this, the wall hook on this side simply needs to be attached at a lower level than on the other side. The distance from the center of the hammock to the wall still remains the same as the distance from the floor to the wall hook. Now we cut out the template and we can finally start drilling. That was noisy. It will not take much longer now, since the hammock is already fixed on the other hook. What we still have to do is to make two loops at the end of the ropes. Then we can hang the hammock. We still need to adjust the height so that the hammock is neither too high nor too low. In this way, we prevent the hammock from touching the floor and our children from falling off at large height. We did it! Our little tiger can take a break to relax in his brand new hammock. See you soon!